Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go explore in one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> what do you know about the remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I take it you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't our tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kahlo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kahlo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that.
on various parts of the Filed a complaint with Tan. That'll show him. I don't know. Tan's pretty busy. I would like to know. Residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the scourge. An official tribute is planned, though director Jaron Tan has provided few details so far. Without Jean, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. This is HNS. It's not the best quality, but we don't have any arrows. Tell our leaders, wake the sleepers! Yeah. Wow, where did you find those? Never mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. Looking good there. Hey, what's Plan going on? Four. That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Fourteen months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her! Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Free our families! Any word? No, no new orders. Keep the safety zone, I guess.
right. If I'd done what I planned, you would have gone back. Construction and repairs continue on various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I need to talk to you about Stasis Revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of Stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks, dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the Exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Supply request is in. Dispatching to your location. <gasps> Attention, civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Species are at odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is HNS. News in Helios, an independent arm of the Andromeda Initiative. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on.
All clear. All systems green. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver pathfinder. Nav point is set.
radiation levels increasing. Life support systems are in peril. Life support systems offline. Radiation levels normal. Life support restored. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Experiencing radiation damage. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation within safe levels. Life support is back online. Tervian. I understand I was pulled from cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out eventually. That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm exo studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the ket on this planet, I drifted in, and there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, Pathfinder. My family thanks you, Pathfinder. Tell me about yourself. Darkit Tervian, W84 Crispin. Joined the initiative to be no one special, somewhere very special. Military family, as you probably suspected, but deeper. And I wanted to leave that life with as many lives as I could bring. I lost a brother before I woke, apparently. He was at sight, too. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as the Ket will be if they threaten us here. I didn't come here to look at death. I won't. Take care, Darkit. You too, Pathfinder. <laughs> 